God bless you, brethren in the Lord. Uh, I am here to, to plead with us and to urge us that uh, if you have a relation, you have a loved one, you have anybody that you love who is an Hausa full and a Muslim, Please give me attention, please. I want to beg you. I want to plead with you that you do something for them. A lot of atrocities are going on in Nigeria now by the Hausa Fulani Muslims. Call it bandits. Call it Boko Haram. Call it Ishwab. Or call it any name that uh, you feel like. All these atrocities are committed by a group of people called the House of Fulani. And Christians have prayed. Indigenous people they have taken over their land have prayed. And then uh, to them it seems as if they are on top of the situation that nobody can do them anything. Among the purposes of God for Nigeria, one of the purposes of God for Nigeria is that the Northern Army will be removed and they will be annihilated. When you go to the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 20, it says, And I will remove the Northern Army far from you into a barren and desolate land from where their stench will come from. Now you must understand this. The Babylonians were used by Jehovah as a rod of chastisement for his apostate people, the people of Judah. But after God was done chastising in Judah, and then the Babylonians took them to captivity, a point came when, when you read Jeremiah 50, that a cry went out. He said, wherefore, tell them, depart ye from Babylon, come out of her. Because at that particular time, the time for judgment of Babylon was set. Now, the season that the caliphate are is called a season of grace. A season of grace. There is an open door for the full and caliphate in Nigeria. There is an open ticket for them. A free ticket of salvation. It is their season of grace. That is why they are still prospering. They are evil. But very soon, that season of grace will expire. And it will not be long from now. It will not be long from now. The Lord will send the spirit of judgment among the caliphate. The Lord will put confusion in their midst. They will begin to fight against their selves. City versus city. People versus people. Parent versus, uh, I, I, I mean children. There is going to come a great confusion and they will destroy themselves. Shiites versus Sunni. Izala versus Derika. The evil, the wrath of God will come upon them very, very soon. And now is still the time of grace for the caliphate. Please, I beg you. If you have any full and also full and any Muslim friend, please go to him, beg him to turn away and embrace the love of Jesus. The time for them to accept the gospel of Jesus is now. Very soon, that time will not be there for them again. The Lord will visit them for the evil that they have done to his people. There is going to be a visitation very, very soon. Please. Plead with them. Talk to them. Are they your friends? Do you have a friend who is an Absafal and a Muslim? You have a relation? You have a classmate? You have a neighbor? You have a colleague in the office? You have a business partner? Tell them that this is the time to what? The time to come out of Babylon. Because the judgment of, ba of, his, of the caliphate and of, of, of the Absafal and a Muslim will not be long from now. The Lord does God is not happy by the death of the sinner. But he wants the sinners to turn away from his evil and be saved. God does not take pleasure in the death of sinners. 
the long suffering of God. Second Peter chapter 3 is that none should perish. God has been long. Despite the evil they have been doing, the kidnapping, the gruesome murder, all the territorial conquest and siege they've been perfecting and go and, and, and it's been going on. And it's as if Jehovah is silent. The long suffering of God, first Peter 3 is that that the caliphate, that the Muslims, how suffer and Muslim can be saved. That is the long suffering. That is the love for God. So love the world that He gives the begotten son. It is out of love that God has been tolerating their evil. But their grace season is about to expire. Please. Are uh, you are now suffer and need convert? You are now a Christian, and your people, your brethren, your sisters, your relations are still Muslim. Go and go and talk to them. The wrath of God will soon come upon them. The wrath of God, the anger of God, the judgment of God will soon come upon them. Their grace season is about to expire. It's about to expire. Now is the time for their salvation. The Lord's hand is still open to receive them. The fountain of life is still open. He's talking to them. He said, come, drink freely. The fountain of life is still open. The fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink of it shall never, never test again. God bless you. I am your brother, Moses Ojo, enemy God special. Today is the first day of January 2022. Because of what is happening, the year we have entered is a double face year. It's a year of revival and a year of judgment. Revival, if we, receive, if we agree to what God is saying. Judgment, if we continue in our evil. There are going to be divine intervention in Nigeria this year. Serious interventions. Serious intervention. And that is why I'm calling the Asafalani Muslims to, what? to embrace the love of Jesus in this their great season. Before their grace is expired, God bless you. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to partner with us in what we are doing. The Lord bless you, and I pray for you that this new year the Lord will remember you. It shall be well with you this new year. You will, you, you, you the, the, the Lord Himself will bring to pass your expectation. The Lord Himself will watch over you, He will preserve you. Only make sure that your life is correct before the Lord. Bible say, if the way of the man is pleasing to the Lord, he make it in them to be at peace with him. God bless you, my brethren. Please, don't forget, it is time to reach out to Hafsa Fulani Muslim and take the gospel to them before their grace season expire. God bless you. Subscribe and help me share this message to any Hafsa Fulani Muslim you know. Anybody you know who is an Hafsa Fulani, share to them. Let them, let them understand that Jesus loves them. He doesn't want them to perish. That is why he has been tolerating their wickedness and their evil. But the time to judge them will soon come. They still have a grace season. Very soon to expire. Let them take advantage of this grace season and embrace Jesus Christ. Because Jesus says in John 14, when you read from verse 6, he says, I am the way, the truth, and life. He says, nobody come to the Father except through me. There is no salvation outside Jesus. If you die without Jesus, it is hellfire. Go to hellfire, waiting for judgment, where you shall be judged. And at the last day, you shall go to the lake of fire, that boy is fire and the Lord help us. May you listen to this message and may the grace of our salvation locate the Asafal and the Muslim massively in Nigeria. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Shalom, Maranatha. Maranatha, Uzan. the Lord.